fall on the rug. Y'all, I'm just so sick. Like, and oh we supposed God, to feel sorry for you? Phone. He done me like he said he done. So my brother was like, dog, we all get dumped before. I mean, I ain't never got dumped on Mother's Day, so I don't know how that is. But... <laughs> all right, so boom, check this out. I saw that Charles and Charge had uh, covered this, right? Shout out to that brother, man. He helped me out a lot, actually, bro. Real talk. Every time I go... Every time I got a problem, it seemed like I run to that man. I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. They gonna be helping me out. But listen, he did this, man. I didn't watch it because I want to give y'all a genuine reaction. I didn't listen to his talking points. I didn't do any of that. But I did want to mention the fact that I saw he did this already, right? But let's get into it, man. This woman got dumped on Mother's Day. That should tell you everything you need to know right there. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Let's go. Story time on how I got dumped on Mother's Day, y'all. <laughs> so it's around the holidays, and my son's dad was supposed to get my baby an iPad. So he texted me like four days before Christmas and was like, Look, I'm looking everywhere, can't find it, not gonna be able to get it this year. Mind you, that was at the top of my baby Christmas list. So I'm like pissed. I'm like, I have to find my baby an iPad because my baby really wanted an iPad for now, looking for an iPad. So I go into this boy's store and his co workers helping me, but mind you, she don't know what the she doing so i'm like he sees that i'm getting irritated so he comes over and he like what's going on so he like this gonna be tough because it is a holiday it's sold out everywhere but give me like an hour and i'll call you and let you know what i can do he calls from his personal phone not even the company phone and he like okay i got good news so come back or whatever okay so i was able to find your baby an ipad First of all, I want to stop it and go ahead and say this. First of all, that dude is going above and beyond because he's trying to clap them cheeks, man. That's what niggas do, man. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. I'm going to keep it real with you. Yes, men do do a lot of nice things, but when dudes start to go above and beyond, bro, you know what it is. And she know what it is. I just want to throw that out there. So, um, like three weeks pass and it's my birthday, right? Go to lunch with the person that I have a kid by now. And he got caught in his DMs telling some girl that she was beautiful. So I'm like, I'm not going nowhere with you. Like, this was the day you were supposed to be my dad. Like, it's just a wrap. So this boy from the store that helped me get my baby iPad texted me and was like, happy birthday, beautiful. I hope you enjoy. So I'm like, who is this? So he texted back and said who it was. So I'm like, wow, you really remember my birthday? He was like, yeah, like it was on your account. Like, it was on your ID. Like, yeah. So he like, what are you doing today? I'm like, well, I have plans to do X, Y, and Z, but now they're canceled. So he like, no, don't cancel your plans. Like, what is it that you had in mind? So I told him, and he like, bet, get ready. Like, meet me there. Like, you know, I'm gonna be there or whatever. Like, we gonna celebrate your birthday. It's your so we go to my birthday dinner. He meets my dad because like I said, my dad was gonna be there. It was like a family thing. Like, this is my friend, so whatever. So mind you, the boy, he was cute, like, you know, tall, handsome. He had everything going for himself, apartment, job, car, like all that. Guys, I gotta stop this because I'm here to educate y'all. I'm here to entertain y'all, but I'm about to hit y'all with a gym real quick and I hope y'all pick it up. Notice, something that stood out to me was this. He said it was on her account and that he looked at the ID and could tell what her birthday is. If this man wasn't an attractive man to her, she would have thought that was creepy as hell, bro. Let's be real. Real talk, bro. She would have been like diamond on a uh uh what movie was that, man? The Players Club when Rodney or whatever his name was followed her home type shit. Like she didn't find that man attractive, so it was a, it was a no go for her. You gotta understand that. And another thing I want to say is this: she saw her baby daddy telling another girl that she's beautiful in the DM. A lot of y'all dudes be cheating on y'all girl, and they know it. What y'all think they doing this whole time to keep themselves sane? They planning and plotting on getting their get back, bro. What? What the f Bro, once you cheat on your girl, you can no longer trust her, dog. <laughs> I'm being real with y'all, man. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. So I'm like, okay, so he meet my dad, they're cool. They split the bill for my birthday dinner. That was whatever. Fast forward, I end up getting back with the person that I have a kid by. We end up breaking up again, but this time it was for like months when we end up breaking up. For I get off work one day and I end up going into the company that he works for, but a very different location. Mm. Who's there? I'm doing whatever I'm doing. He turns around and it's him. So he like, Dage, like, what's up? Where you been? I'm like, oh, just working. And we like, let's go out tonight. And I was about to be like, no, you know, I'm tired. He like, no. And I, who the f 
fuck you think you talking to? Be ready at nine. Like, send me your address. I'm going to pick you up. Be ready. So, again, I'm like, here. Because you're not asking me. You telling me. It only works like, when they find you attractive. Love being told what to do. So, we go on our little date. It's good vibes. He's cool. Super sweet. Super nice. So, like I said, he was good vibes. We go out. We have a good time. He pays for everything. He picks me up. All that. Okay, cool. So I go over there, nothing happens, super gentleman, like we cuddle, we watch a movie, like super, super, super sweet. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I'm like here because you didn't press me, I didn't feel overwhelmed, like goodbyes, we just cuddled, laughed, got to know each other more, just chill, like he was perfect, y'all, like total opposite from the person that I have a kid by, like literally. So, y'all, we started dating because at this time I'm single and I'm like, I'm feeling him. Like, he's cool as hell. So, we started dating. But let me know if y'all want a part two on how we started dating and how I ended up getting dumped on freaking Mother's Day. First of all, you just told us how y'all started dating. Second of all, this is how you got dumped on Mother's Day. And you didn't tell us nothing about Mother's Day or how you got dumped. Second of all, she got a baby with this dude, right? It shows that she's sexually irresponsible, and so is he. <laughs> this shit crazy, bro. Like, and they wonder why they like me so hard, bro. Like, she said that this man is not the same person that she had a baby by right now. Duh, because he you told him everything you was looking for. This nigga pretended to be that. That was the representative that wasn't his real self. If you're telling the truth about him not being a great person, because we know how y'all like to play victim. But let's keep it going. So we started dating. And remember, I told y'all, like, I was fresh out of a relationship. So it's like, even though I like him, I still wanted to explore my options because I was single. So my ass was still dating other people even though i really 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 like this guy like i was still dating other people and i got to a point where it was uh you know this ain't for me i really like this dude like this dude gives me princess treatment he pays for my stuff like we're always together like treats me nice like like i said total opposite from the person that i have a kid by so it was a breath of fresh air so okay. i was like let me just get serious about this boy you know i'm always over here and the day before mother's day we're together my son is with his dad and with his dad's mom and all this type of stuff so, and we drinking he had like a little pole in his house so i'm dancing on the pole we like turning up having fun next yeah. day y'all fellas first of all if a woman tell you she fresh out of relationship man you need to be walking on eggshells no that's the wrong thing what i mean to say is this do not get attached to this woman straight up man because rebounds is the real deal a lot of times they're gonna go back to the dude whoever they just left real talk they're gonna go back to that dude and you're gonna be left high and dry partner i just want to throw that little caveat out there for y'all man real talk it's like 6 a.m i roll over to cuddle with him he's not in the bed he's playing his game so i get up and go to the bathroom i come back i'm like good morning babe he like what's up so he dry so i'm like okay whatever he must have hit for the first like, time i forget <laughs> what i say to him but i say something else so he like they just need to ask you something i'm like what's up he like have you been talking to other people wow you know we've been dating and i'm like lying like no so he like okay one more time remember it's the principle of me asking you and you being honest with me so i'm like no lying ass so he starts going off like, i can't believe you you over here talking to other people you over here doing you like i didn't drop all the females that i have for you like we always together if i'm not at work like if i'm not with my baby like i'm with you with you going he on. let his best eater so go i feel bad y'all he's going so i don't think i said this as well him and my dad they stayed in the same building like literally if we was yelling loud enough my dad could hear us arguing because my dad didn't live far down in the building from him Man, I don't know about none of y'all, but that would have been a no sirski for me, man. Your daddy lived down the, down the hall. Nah, I can't do that, partner. You know what I'm saying? I feel some type of way if I'm in the room trying to wet that ass out. Your daddy can hear. Man, listen, bro. Some of y'all niggas are savages. I already know y'all don't give a damn. Y'all going balls to the wall no matter if I'm son next door or nothing. Y'all some hood niggas. But me personally, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I just couldn't, dog. I'm going to keep it real with y'all, man. But nah, it is the principle. You sitting up here telling us all the people you was dating and then you lied to this man's face. Bro, why you ain't keep it gangster? Why you ain't keep it G? Keep it player? The thing is this. Y'all know that that roster shit is dead with most men. Any man that got respect for himself, a little pride, a ego. Nah, man, we don't want hit by no roster. That mean you for the streets. 
sending your ass right back to the pot. It's like ugly money Nietzsche be saying, bro. So I get dressed and I start walking out. He follows me up the house going up. Like, I can't believe you. You got me messed up. Yeah, I've never felt so bad about doing somebody wrong, which I typically don't do people wrong, but I don't felt believe that. horrible, y'all. Like at that moment, I'm like, I really love this man. Like I felt bad y'all like so the moment i left i called my mom crying like mommy went through my phone like all this stuff is old -woo -woo. i got home y'all i guess mama had told my siblings because <laughs> everybody was in the living room waiting for me to get home <laughs> so everybody in the living room waiting for me to get home y'all i instantly just my mom had a big old rug i just fall on the rug y'all i'm just so sick like and oh we supposed God, to feel he sorry for you phone. he done me like he said he done so my brother was like, dog, we all get dumped before. I mean, I ain't never got dumped on Mother's Day, so I don't know how that is. <laughs> I'd have been laughing my ass off. Off This breakup, y'all, like, I was sick in tears, crying, like, and every time we would communicate, he would make me feel bad. Good. You know, like, I felt bad, y'all. Good. Fast forward, after he dumped me, you know, after I'm like, okay, let me just try to get over him. Like, I'm in a bed for two weeks, like, really sick. That's what really Yeah. Or you can go back. You know, the other way. You can go back. It's not. When I was in there. So, let me start going back outside again. Like, he done. It's not the end of the world. He calls me months later. Like, Dage, I miss you, man. What's up? Like, I'm ready to get past all the bullshit. Y'all. Why I have to tell this man that I was pregnant? Oh my God. Part because it's more. Say, bro. She taking L after L, bro. Real talk. Hey, these type of women, I ain't no disrespect, no disrespect, respectfully. But these type of women, bro, they almost always end up with like four, five baby daddies. <laughs> Every time they get a new boyfriend, if they be with that nigga for more than a year, bro, they gonna get a baby by that boy. Real talk, man. But you know what she said something? She said that he went through the phone. I'm gonna tell y'all something real talk. If you're going to go through the phone, one of the best times to go through the phone is when you first meet her. Before y'all really get locked in because guess what? She ain't going to feel like you even trying to go through her phone. Y'all, you ain't got no authority over her at this point. So that raw, that real shit, if she's single, you're going to see a lot. And it's going to let you know what type of woman you're really dealing with. Real talk. A single man, bro, if he got a phone, he probably got it all up in there. A man that's in a relationship and he doing his thing on the side, he gonna have it hidden. Same principle for a woman. She gonna have it hidden if she locked in, supposedly locked in with a dude. It's not gonna be in the open, bro. They be having secret texting apps, all kind of stuff that they be using. But go through the phone when y'all first caught him. See what type of woman she is. You gonna go through the messages and see all the eggplant pictures and the Pennsylvanias all over. She busting that water park wide open. She done made a finger slide on that. I'm telling you, bro, like you going to see that you dealing with an unsavory creature if that's what she is. Real talk. I'm telling y'all what I know, bro. Go to the phone, goddammit. <laughs> well, part three is fairly simple. Please. He calls me a few months after we broke up and um, I had to reveal to him that I was pregnant. He didn't believe that I was pregnant because um, my pregnancy wasn't posted on any social media. I did hide my pregnancy. One of the reasons was I did not want him to find out that I had got pregnant only a month after we had broke up. That we stayed in contact here and there with him screenshots of the person that I got pregnant by basically admitting to trapping me so that he wouldn't think that I was just out here just going wild. Did use a condom when I got pregnant with my daughter. Somebody did what it, my fucking people. That's, that's cap. 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 And still end up getting pregnant because that I got Man, pregnant what's by really got a lot of me? wanted me to have his baby so bad but the main reason is that he did not want me talking to this man oh, anymore Lord. so he thought a baby would solidify that so fast forward i have my baby um and the day that i go give birth to my daughter hey let me say this before i get mad uh that's that single mother behavior right there a man trapping a woman bro ain't no man who got something going for itself, trapping no woman with no baby, bro. That's flunky, crash out behavior, bro. That's smooth brain behavior. Another thing she said in the beginning was that she was hiding her pregnancy. Bro, let me tell y'all something, man. A lot of women hide their pregnancies for a couple reasons. A lot of women hide their pregnancy because they don't know who the baby for. A lot of women hide their pregnancy because they don't know if they gonna keep it. So, hello. <laughs> 
Say it another way, Will. She don't know if she going to the hitman, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Real talk. And another reason why a lot of women hide their pregnancy is because it was not intentional. Women who got pregnant on purpose, they can't wait to announce that shit, bro. I'm telling y'all what I know. You understand? Well, I'm gonna tell y'all this, though. The baby shower fool gonna be off the chain, bro. When they don't know who this baby daddy is, the fool extra good, man. They season the shit to death. He sends me a message and he's like, oh, praying for, you know, a safe delivery and a speedy recovery. My baby daddy gets big mad. Oh, I'm gonna fight him because why is he picking on my kid? You know I don't play, Gina. Baby, you can't fight. Who can't fight? I'm gonna knock him. I hit this one dude. He my baby daddy, y'all, is just drunk. Mud, like literally you like hood niggas a few months after i had my baby me and my baby daddy break up and then me and him started like talking again and we literally pick up like where we left off like everything was cool um the drama came in when my baby daddy found out that we were back talking and my baby daddy was drama like trying to contact this man no forget trying to contact this man my baby daddy does contact this man my baby daddy is making threats on all this weird stuff because he was mad that the baby did not keep me in the situation how he thought it would. Me and him are in this on and off again type thing because of my baby daddy. So it's like my baby daddy would just be drama. So I would get back with my baby daddy to shut my baby daddy up and to avoid and eliminate all the drama. But my baby daddy is not where I wanted to be. Like it's clear that I wanted to be with this man, but it just was... It was just a, it was a lot, y'all. Oh, you called Thomas. Okay, so questions are, have he met my baby? Yes, he's met my baby. But when she was smaller, do we still talk? Absolutely, y'all. That soul tie is serious. I don't know if- That I ain't no soul tie. Crack on it before I first encounter, but I am in a chokehold. We still dump each other all the time. Like, we just swore we was done a few days ago, and I was crying at work looking crazy just to wake up next to him the next day. <laughs> Our situation will forever be complicated and I don't think it'll ever be the same how it was just because it was a lot that was done, but it is what it is. Oh, earth is ghetto. I want to leave. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Say, bro, I feel sorry for any fool that get with this woman right here, bro. You're going to have to deal with him. The baby daddies, whoever, bro. Like, she just said she got a soul tie with this dude. And it's not really a soul tie. What it is is the dude is knocking the Sonic rings out there in Virginia. That's what it is, man. He beating that thing up, bro. He beating the stuffing out that Egg McMuffin, bro. I'm telling y'all what I know. He hitting the factory reset button on that thing. Got her going cuckoo. And guess what? I know it's good, too, because dude keep coming back. He knows she trifling ain't worth a damn, but he keep coming back. See, huh? She probably need a wet flow sign when she got when she got it popping down there at that water park. I'm telling you, bro. I'm I'm listen, man. Little hood fee on the slick. You know, she ain't number she ain't level 10 hood, but she she somewhere in the spectrum with the hood shit. I promise you that. And that dude tan her ass up, and that's why she can't get rid of dude. But here's the thing: if you get with this woman, you gotta deal with a man that she is not willing to let go. He gonna be creeping. He gonna be willing to play the, the side while you doing the main nigga role, but he gonna be still knocking the Mario coins out of that thing, bro. See, a lot of women got dudes that they just can't shake, man. I know dudes right now who are still uh, able to have access to married women from 20 years ago. They do their little thing on the side here and there. Man, they got niggas that fly in to New Orleans and still hit niggas wife and go back home to wherever they live. They got niggas in your city dealing with married women that they've been dealing with for decades. They go have lunch together. They do this together. Why you at work or why the man at work? I'm telling y'all what I know, bro. Like, it's so many lessons can be learned from this video, man. And a lot of young dudes just don't know this. It's still plenty that I got to learn. But I know enough to know that whoever deal with this woman is over for you, partner. Stick and fork in you. You're done. Cancel Christmas. All right, I was long-winded on this one. I apologize. If you're the type of person that don't want to hear a nigga talk all day, that's on you. Let me get at y'all.